The next phase of our This Is Not Love, This Is Control campaign will build on the theme of control. It will highlight the specific types of controlling and abusive behaviours that underrepresented groups and people with protected characteristics may experience. The campaign has already shown us that coercive control is insidious, can be very difficult to identify, very hard to talk about, and for those outside of the abusive relationship, can be difficult to recognise and know what help to offer. We know that domestic abuse and sexual violence is widely underreported and that victims often experience a number of incidents before seeking support. Research particularly shows that black and minority ethnic refugee and male victims underreport. Also that some other harder to reach communities, such as disabled and older people, are more likely to be victims. This campaign phase will show that the type of control and abuse is often specific to individuals in these groups, to their situations and beliefs, and this makes the abuse more personal, more frightening and isolating. The images and messaging focus on the tactics perpetrators of abuse will use to exploit these additional vulnerabilities as part of their controlling behaviour. We must remember that domestic abuse and coercive control are not one-off incidents. They are patterns of behaviour, attitudes and incidents that continue and build over time in order for someone to exert power, control or coercion over another person. These behaviours have a serious effect on victims. They instill fear and impair their day-to-day -day activities. Victims often feel they are subservient to their partners and are isolated from sources of support. These are just some of the issues we want to continue to raise awareness of and help ensure that all victims, regardless of age, gender, ability, sexuality or race, are aware that they can access support. Victims, survivors and others concerned for someone can contact the Live Fear Free 24 helpline and online chat for advice, information, support and services across Wales. We will continue to work together to change attitudes so that it is understood that abusive behaviours are not acceptable and will not be tolerated in Wales. We will continue to work with survivors and stakeholders to shape our messages as the campaign moves forward. We want to thank you for the continued support for the campaign and encourage people to share information and discuss the issues being raised.